Let's go. Welcome to 237 episode. Dan Geeson plays Mike. Every last left off, we are making some potions here. And uh, I'm a little panicked right now. Why am I panicked? Because uh, now we have a lot of potions of healing part two, which is good. But also, uh, when I keep... Right now, it's, it's, uh, it's a close thing in life. And when I say close, like I may miss my flight. I'm just joking. Uh, I, what's interesting is I may miss my flight because I'm recording Minecraft. <laughs> That's not going to happen, but I can't miss it. But at the same time, it's not in my nature to, uh, to, to go without Minecraft locked and loaded. So this, like I said, um, to me it's better to have an episode short than no episode at all. Uh, but anyways, we last left off. Let's go ahead and press on. Um, and you guys may say, hey Dan, where are you going? I'm going to, to LA for an extremely short period of time. Very, very short. Short. But... Um, Let's go ahead, let's get some little experience here for the kids and uh, see what's going on. Um, let's also not get lost. But the whole point of this little little journey here is uh, what I would like to do is actually go back. Let's work our way back to the fortress. That way we can uh, we can harvest a bunch of blaze rods and who knows what else we can find along the way. Um, where do we get that nether wart from, too? So we're, what we're, all we're going to do here is we're going to follow the totems. We haven't been back here in a while. A, a significant amount of timeage. But uh, here we go. Let's, let's go for it. So this whole goal we're going to be getting here. Um, we're going to be working there. So if you guys are looking for like a major progression episode, this may not be it. And this may be the first time I've ever actually tried to influence you not to watch an episode. Not that I'm trying to influence you to do anything. But I just don't want to you know, set the bar... Hi for you guys, because this is may, this will be the shortest Minecraft episode of all time. However, it doesn't mean it won't be one of the best. So, I think I'll tell you guys a story. Um, a quick little story while we harvest some experience here. We're going to tell a story about... Um, let's see, which, we can go a lot of directions with this story. I want to tell you guys a true story. I'm just trying to think what's a good story I can tell you guys. Um... Story about how I could tell a story about a pig, but do I know any stories about pigs? Um, yeah, it's kind of gross though. Uh, let's think. Do, can I tell a story about lava? Nope. Nether wart? Nope. Okay, well, it's, no, that's not a story. I guess it's not a. We won't tell a story, but I'll pose a question. So I guess there's like a, a vitamin or something called Saint John's. Wart, but it's spelled like W-O-R-T, not W-A-R-T. And I have a couple questions about that. Number one, what the heck is Wart, W-O-R-T? And number two, who's St. John that he gets his own Wart named after him? And number three, why is that supposed to be beneficial to your health? St. John's Wart. Um, I don't know what it is. It's just the first thing that popped in my mind. We were supposed to be ta telling a story. And I don't know if I've seen someone take it or if I've seen it in a store and just been like absolutely grossed out by it. Because I guess when you think about it too, like what is a wart? Because you think about like a wart on a hand, and that's generally pretty gross. But what makes it so gross? All it is is um, maybe because it's actually unusual that it's like gross. But if you look at it, not that I've never had a wart, but... Uh, maybe I have. I don't know. Maybe when I was little, but I don't remember. But what is it? It's just like a little extra piece of skin. I mean, I know it inherently. It's I think it's a virus. Is that what a, vi uh, a wart is actually a virus? And um, but so what does Saint John have to do with it? I don't know. We're getting a little off topic here. Let's go ahead and and uh, work our way back for the kids. Um, and when I get home, like just throwing this out there, the second this recording is done, I gotta upload it and I gotta sprint home. Not sprint, but drive home, pack, and then this is probably like I don't want to say the most destructive thing I've done. No, sir, no sir. But definitely the most panic ridden situation. Let's Oh god, we are in trouble. We are in trouble. Let's not die here. There's a lot of panic here in real I think the panic in real life translates over into Minecraft life because uh, that was dangerous. But uh, we're going to keep on mining here. And, uh, I, you know, I could see myself being angry if we died here. So we may actually have to just 
Just be a little careful here for the children. This is uh, probably not the time to be like speed running through Minecraft, but here's what we're gonna do. Hang tight. You take a seat, sir. Look at that, that experience dropping. This. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves in a comfortable position here. And um, like I said, we talked about some randomness, but uh, in better. How do we get back over there? I don't know. In better interest and, and making a responsible adult decision, I'm going to end the episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you know what the heck St. John's Ward is used for, let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys tomorrow morning later. Thank <laughs> you.